Hi, this is Ashif. I am able to explain a simple KidsMath application. For that, I have created a view-based application named KidsMath. In the front page, I have .h.m and .xab file. I have also added three more classes with .h.m and .xab for counting, addition, and subtraction. To add a new file, right-click the KidsMath icon, add new file, Cocoa Touch class tab should be clicked then view in view controller class with xib I have created already counting addition and subtraction I have also connected this to the front page using three actions which is connected to the button before that import the three view controller and in the dot m this is the code to connect these view controllers to it it doesn't provide any leak so far this is the code to switch between view controllers and I also added for addition, counting, and subtraction. Next, I will take you through the codings of counting view controller. Here, there is an IB action which is connected to the UI button. By clicking the button, it will take you to the front page. Then, there is another action which is go to next question, which will load the, which will call the function load image then in the view did load we are adding three buttons dynamically and in the load image function which is called while we are clicking the next question i'm using a do while loop here i'm using an integer which is random is between 0 to 9 based upon this i only we will set the options and there is an q quest array there is an ns array which is having the image names as you can see here in the resources this is also randomly taken and we are showing it in the image view Next, we are randomizing the options here using a switch condition, which is also randomly taken. And uh, see here, the i value which we are randomized there is passed through this button. That is to show the images of the button, and these are the boolean values which is set to yes or no to show the correct answer and wrong answer. And these are the button actions which will show the correct and wrong image. It will also play the winning sound and losing sound. Similarly, we can add the codings for addition and subtraction. In the addition, we will use in addition and subtraction, we will use another one integer j. Here in addition and subtraction, we have to show two images instead of one. So that it's easy to add between two values. Now it's time for the short time. This is the front page of our application by clicking the counting. Yeah, there's eight. You can click the correct options. It will show the tick mark. Next question. Then again seven. Next question. One. By clicking this home button, we can come to the front page. Addition. Then sum plus one eight. Next question. One plus six. Okay, let's make it wrong. Five. Then home subtraction four minus four zero. Next question three minus one one. Come to the first page. This is our application. Thanks for watching. Kids math.